Hey guys, I used to get these death threats and extremely racist statements from this dude called at Meta Zookeeper. I totally forgot about him until I was using my Twitter to log into a social media. And I had this posted from January. And th these are his comments on my channel. Uh, his channel at the time had 159 subscribers. Uh, also very hateful individuals in the MetaZoo community. I've shouted him out. I'm not surprised after seeing videos of themselves doing push-ups and whatnot that they are not very accepting of other cultures, if you will. So uh, this is from MetaZoo Keeper. I have screenshots. It's on the Twitter at the Umu, the MTG line Twitter. Imagine a channel with 159 subscribers making fun of a much larger channel. So they make fun of my views and so on, but they have not seen my other two channels, which are rapidly growing and have millions of views a month, like a million plus views a month. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So this is at MetaZoo Keeper. He's got the little logo. He's uh, deleted his or has changed. I, I don't know. He's just gone. You know, when I type at MetaZoo Keeper, the only thing I find is that other racist dude, <laughs> you know, push-up dude, uh, also here, at MetaZoo Keeper. Yeah, I don't really see too much when I type in at MetaZoo Keeper. There's not much, um, it's like a Japanese guy. Ironically, there's a Japanese guy now who has the hashtag MetaZoo Keeper. Yeah, MetaZoo Keeper 5956, but at MetaZoo Keeper himself is gone. So where did all these people go? Uh, MetaZoo Keeper. Is this at MetaZoo Keeper? No, this, that's the MetaZoo Keeper 556. I guess there's our, uh, a bunch of MetaZoo Keepers. So imagine a community where they're not very accepting and they are quite hateful and very hateful individuals if you point out the obvious. There's one dude I like, Nick, Nick Strength in Pokemon, and as he mentioned, nothing I said about MetaZoo or what Mike Wardell did is wrong. They did scam players by promising $50,000 for the winner and not paying. They did scam customers and clients, collectors, whatever you want to call them, uh, time and time again, and now they're in bankruptcy and they don't have any intention to pay. They scammed Kuromi, and the Hello Kitty, Sam Rio, they scammed the online client. I kept it, oh, they're going to have an online client. Yeah, they didn't pay for their online client. How long do you think that dude's going to you know, continue with, with no new cards coming in? That's not great. They didn't pay their online client. They didn't even pay their like web store, right? They're still selling off their web store that they didn't pay. They owe like, what, a few hundred thousand dollars? They didn't pay their distributor or warehouse. They, they didn't pay the print shop in China. You know, the people who actually print the cards, the official printers. I mean, like, let me I'll be honest, they, they, who did they pay? Oh, they paid themselves with Lamborghinis and so on, right? So nothing I said was false. It was either an opinion I had or it was just fact that they were running this business like they were running this business 2D ground. And that's what they did. They decided that this was the best road ahead. And what, F the customers, right? I mean, why should the customers, why should we mad about it? And they're all gone now. So even this MetaZoo Keeper dude who loved MetaZoo so very, very much, right? Who said so many, learn to speak English. You live in America, he tells a lawyer. You can't speak English and no one can understand you talk in your videos. And I bet you have a little blank. And he says that many times because he is racist, right? He is racist, yeah, right? And then here's another MetaZoo fan, but you likely do have a baby blank. Stop embarrassing yourself. And this is called European Black Knight. I'm better than you, and they have a rainbow sign So from Switzerland. So another MetaZoo player. Like, they couldn't take criticism. Therefore, they couldn't improve. I mean, Mike Waddell... The Mike Waddell guy, right? Um, let's think about him. Anytime anyone criticized them, he would ban them. Anytime, again, anytime he received even the slightly criticism, even if the person had really good intentions and loved the game, he would straight up ban them. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. He banned them from playing the game. He banned them off their Dave's Discord channel or whatever, which was the hub of their social media. At some point in time, you just realize that it's the Meta Zoo people who cannot handle criticism. And they, I mean, if you look at this, Nightfall, what, was $820 a box? It's $40 a box easily with free shipping. Yeah, volume went up, and I love how Argos made it seem like Hello Kitty was the greatest set ever because people were buying more of it. Could it have something to do with people spending $300 for two boxes, not realizing that TCG Play has refunded them half their money and they can buy two more boxes? So the, the amount of money spent on MetaZoo actually hasn't increased. In fact, the profit line has decreased because they have to print two more boxes, ship two more boxes that has cost. The game is so bad at that time that they reduced, even before they sold, shipped out a single one of these things, the numbers were so bad they had to reduce the cost by half. And then, and then you got Argos Anonymous saying this is a victory for everybody. You know, Hello Kitty boxes are at 40. I mean, these boxes are not going up anytime soon and if they do go up then the volume goes down so it's kind of uh you know one of those things right so back to the uh, meta zoo critics um they can't handle the truth they cannot handle the truth and many people still defend it they scammed their player base fifty thousand dollars for when's the last time you how big of uh, what a magic the gathering tournament or Yu-Gi-Oh tournament or Poke, i don't even think the pokemon tournament the world Ch championship you get fifty thousand. i think it was like twenty five thousand cash twenty five thousand prizes something like that maybe thirty thousand cash some type of combination but it was a considerable m uh, amount of cash and what they get like 20 players like it doesn't make sense how can you know is imagine going to f and m Friday Night Magic, there's like 20 people there, and then the prize is $50,000. <laughs> like, the, the, no one think this is a scam. Like, no one's like, wait, something is not right here. They never had the intention to pay $50,000. They told you they wanted to pay multiple times, even in, in their last roadmap for 2024. The first thing they were going to do was in 2023, make sure the players were paid. Didn't happen. Yep. I don't know why you would put it in your roadmap if you knew specifically you don't have any money and you're entering bankruptcy, right? They lied to these people, these brain-dead people. They lied and lied and lied and lied. And uh, they're still lying to them today. The MetaZoo, oh, my Rudy promo is worth $100, $150. No, it's not. No, it's not. I can tell Alpha Investment right now, man, there's a Chinese print shop right now printing... Thousands of promos to send me in the mail. And once I get them, I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to just light them on fire. And then I'll order another thousand. <laughs>